Uh, that's why I can't work at an animal shelter for a long time because I would just <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Actually, oh, I wish I could show you a clip. I did a I did a voice match thing for John Wick, and I I uh, have it with me, but I can't show you that right now because it's on my phone. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay, we have another question over here. Uh, out of all the voice people that you've done, who is your favorite? Well, not to. Because I haven't done Batman yet. <laughs> no, not to because um, it, when you've been with a character that long, if you're going to get a tattoo from that show, it better be your favorite. Because if it's not your favorite, what are you doing? You know what I mean? We have another question. I'm going to assume that you have a question, so you don't have to preface it. That's okay. That's okay. I just want to save your vocal cords. Yes! Oh, yes, then please, please save it. Yeah, don't blow your... Unless you're in the guild hall, then... Oh, wait. Ah. Say happy birthday! Hello? To who? Right here. Sir Yuri. Sir Yuri? Sir Yuri? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feliz. I have a question. Cumpleaños. Yeah. De nada. Cien setenta y dos. That's what she told me. That's what she's told people at conventions. Um, so that's up to her. So I don't know anything beyond that. If you need to hit up the director, her name's Colleen Klingerbeard. <laughs> but um, that's all I know. So we'll see. Maybe I'll be all three. I don't know. I actually just did a, a video game where I'm talking to myself as a different character. So, it has happened. Okay, we have another question. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, hi, Todd. I met you earlier, and I'm such a big fan of your work, and I'm sorry. I was so frazzled when I met you that I couldn't ask you this before. But um, as playing Death the Kid, um, who do you ship him with? Liz, or Maka, or... Oh, sorry. I'm waiting. That answer. Yeah. Well, Liz, I mean, I, I think Liz and Blair. Daddy. No, that's the ship, Liz and Blair. <laughs> Pumpkin. Hi, I saw that you like doing other voices too, even though you haven't been those voices, like the Nacho and stuff like that. So I was curious, what are your favorite voice lines to voice, even if they're not yours, including your own? Um, one that I 
got to do, well, what's one that I got to do recently? Oh, um, I'm in the Lord of the Rings card game. And so it's always fun to, um, I shall bear that burden with you, Frodo, as long as it is yours to bear. Fly, you fools. So it's always fun to be a wizard. And then I like to do, um, uh, what's another one? Oh, thunder, thunder, thundercats. That was fun to do. Um, I've also, been, Trump, I've been Trump for a cartoon. Um, I've also, I've done a lot of voice matching actually. I did, I, in Alice in Wonderland part two, uh, I did a lot of the White Rabbit in that, in that movie, that Johnny Depp one. And then um, I was, there's an upcoming Robert Downey Jr. movie that, <laughs> I'm John Cena in it for some reason. You you can't see me, so I can't talk about it. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm John Cena, and I'm his voice match for some reason. And uh, I always get the odd ones. One time I was on my way to the studio to do uh, C-3PO because C-3PO didn't understand this video game, and he didn't want to do it. And so they're like, Todd, can you do C-3PO? And I said, yeah, sure. And so I was driving on the way to the studio to do it, and I got a phone call as I'm five minutes away, and they're like, oh, he'll do it now. <laughs> Turn around. Yeah, so, um, but it's fun to, to get to voice match people uh, for, for different projects. Um, but yeah, especially because, like I said, Kids made fun of me when I was a kid for my voice, and so anytime I don't have to use my voice, that sounds fun to me. Yeah. I guess I'm a rat now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's okay, rats are cute. I think I follow a rat on my Instagram. How was it uh, doing Formidal Alchemist with her as Prince Ling? Oh, Ling was, was cool. Ling was my first cosplay. Um, so it was a lot of fun to, to join the fabric of the Full Metal franchise. And also, Ling is a badass with martial arts. He's like the John Wick of martial arts, I feel, like, of like Full Metal. And so it was fun to, to like, especially the train scene where I fought Gluttony was a lot of fun. And uh, I think that show had a really nice ending to it. Like a lot of anime that we work on <laughs> sets it right up for another season. And then of course, like was mentioned earlier, we never see it. So it was nice that it had like, okay, and done, and finished. And so it's uh, it was nice to work on something that, that came to an official close, for sure. Hello, um, what are your personal thoughts on symmetry? <laughs> I always lean towards it. I mean, I think we all have a little bit of OCD in some form or fashion. You know, for me, like the silliest OCD I have is like uh, how my video game controllers are arranged in like their little cubby hole. Like, it annoys me if it's like, if I see a little cable hanging out, I'm like, I didn't put that cable out there. I need to go fix that. But we're in Arizona. Turn the car around. I need to go back home. Um, so I think we all have it a little bit. So it's symmetry is uh, delightful. I enjoy. It. So we only have time for two more questions. So. Why do you go and pick those out? I have one extra question for you. Yeah, yeah. So what was it like growing up in Dallas Fort Worth there? Oh, growing up in Dallas. Well, I, I, so yeah, I spent a lot of time in Texas. I lived in uh, Houston, Friendswood, Lake City, uh, Bel Air, Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington. Um, not because I have a military family, but just because dysfunctional family, and so we moved around a lot. But it was, it was interesting to see like 
Dallas become the third coast in terms of acting. Uh, and so I thought that I was gonna be in Dallas and just, you know, when I went to college at SMU, uh, I was already working professionally and I was like, I'll just work in town until I get a break and then I'll go to LA. Not a break, like a big break. I mean like a break in my schedule and then go. And the break never came. And so I finally, I, I said, I'm gonna go um, try to go to this one agent. There's this one agent in Dallas that uh, is kind of, uh, kind of a, the, the number one agent. And I said, I'm gonna take a meeting with that agent. And if that agent accepts me, I'll stay in Dallas. If she says no, I'm going to LA. So, which strangely doesn't make sense because if someone, if you get rejected by the number one agency, why would you go to a place that is more competitive? But anyway, that's what I said in my head. Yeah, that's right. So I went to have a meeting with her and she looked at me and she goes, what are your goals? And, and at the time, again, with voiceover, I was like, well, I was a on camera guy before that, so I'm gonna be just on camera. And she looked at me and she goes, well, I talked to a couple casting directors in town and we don't know what to do with your look. Nobody knows what to do with your look. So I don't think I can help you reach your goals. And I was like, that's strange. So then I loaded up my car and went to LA and four days later signed with William Morris, which is like, the, I mean, it, it, the, the equivalent is like, Mm, never mind, I'm not gonna say it. So basically, it, the equivalent would be like, hey, can, can I have that uh, Skittle? Can I, have, can I have one of your Skittles? And you're like, no. And then I walk in the next room and it's Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. <laughs> That's the, the kind of, the, if that makes sense a little bit. And so um, I've been very grateful and fortunate for, for what this alternate kind of rejected path has been for me in a weird way. And uh, it's been a great ride and I hope it continues for another 150 years. Yeah. Okay, last two questions. I, I love you by the way. Um, uh, how do you feel about playing villain-like characters like Ganther from Hunter Hunter or like Judar from Maki, which by the way, needs a second season. <laughs> well, with villains, Villains are more fun, but they have the least dialogue. So I don't, I, I prefer the heroes because they may be a little more boring, but they're there longer. So like when I did Sailor Moon, I was the first general to get knocked out. And I'm like, what? And then I, when I played the villain in um, ReZero, I didn't come in until the second volume. And I'm like, golly, I'm, put the, I'm 13 episodes in, you haven't even... So the actor side of me is like, hero, all the time. But the villain is actually more challenging, I feel like. Because the hero is like, what's their mission? To do good. The villain is like, I need to do as much evil as possible, as many different dastardly ways as possible. Usually the hero is like, let me save the day with my fisticuffs. That's his go-to. And, and so the villain has all these different things. He, and the villain has a lot to manage, too. He's got to run a little empire with his little henchmen, make sure they filled out their W-2s, make sure everyone gets their, you know, paid time off, etc. So it's a lot to manage. So I like both. We have our last question. Oh, hi. Oh, hello, hi. I, my name's Leo. Uh, I wanted to ask you if, uh, if, they, if the person who, who um, Matches the like the JoJo anime attitude voice act for one of them. Uh, would you? I'm in JoJo already in, oh, a, in a minor way, but I've auditioned a lot for JoJo's. Yeah. Um, it's uh, I, it it's fishing. It's like fishing. It's like I may go out and catch a you know a forty pound human today, but tomorrow I'll catch a catfish. Oh. Thursday I may catch a shark. Friday I may catch an infant roll. <laughs> who knows, you know? Raspberry. Oh, no. Yeah, raspberry flavor. So who knows? Um, but with that being our final question, I have to tell you all that it is always such an honor every time. It never gets old. It, I was waiting for it to, and it never did. It's always amazing to share um, the joys of coming together at a convention. Um, talking about the things that 
that we mutually love. And it's such a, a rare gift to be able to be on the receiving end of so much kindness from you guys. And so thank you for that, and thank you for, for being there and, and here. Thank you. And we have one more time. Uh, God, hey, we're cool. There it is, folks. We got to do one thing. We got to do one thing. Okay, so we need to do, um, I dare say, if not the largest, we have to do one of the largest fire dragon roars. Okay, so we're here in McAllen, Texas. We've got this crowd right here. On the count of three, you guys are going to do it with me. Here we go. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Fire! Fire! Anime Fest, Fiesta, everyone say hi. Well done, we'll play.